Hello guys, welcome back to Zombie Zoology. I'm Zombie Zebra and today I wanted to make a more serious video. As a chronically ill person, I spend a lot of time stuck in bed and talking to myself because I am a writer, but my fingers are largely too weak to write. There are days they are even too painful to type. So I talk my ideas out to myself and often will voice record them. I decided to try something a little different today and video record them and I'll upload the contents to the internet. So I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong there. The topic I'm discussing today is the idea of surviving versus living. Anyone who knows me has probably heard me use the phrase right now, I feel like I'm surviving, not living. And people always think of this as a very morbid and pessimistic way of living my life. But I want to take it a second to explain what exactly it is that I mean. So living to me is having a social life, being fulfilled, having fun, having a job, having purpose, having something that drives you, having a well-rounded life. And then surviving is something I think a lot of chronically ill people have experience with, which is when kind of your only job is to keep your heart beating and your lungs breathing. And sometimes that's all you can do, and that's okay. Right now, and a lot of the past year, has just been me surviving. I'm currently under the care of probably five different doctors, and basically we're just trying to find a way for me to live a functional life. But on that path is a lot of days when I wake up and the first thing I feel is pain. And if I try and get up, I realize I'm too dizzy, my blood pressure isn't high enough, my joints aren't strong enough, and I'm in bed that day. I often will be told by able-bodied people, man, I'm so jealous, I wish I could hang out in bed all day, but there's never been a day that I've spent entirely in bed when I've thought, man, this is so nice, I am living the good life. Because when I'm stuck in bed, all I can think of is pain, which is why I can't do anything but be in bed, because I can't process anything but the pain. And there are times when it is really, really tempting to give up and take what is considered the easy way out of that pain. Now, I have my own thoughts about doctor-assisted suicide in certain situations, but obviously there is a higher suicide rate among chronically ill people, but especially people with chronic pain because chronic pain is debilitating. If you haven't lived it, I honestly don't know how to explain to you what it's like to be in physical agony every moment of your life. That's not an experience you can share with another person. Pain is something that really can't be shared. I never really got to the point I wanted to make on the day I filmed this, so I'm gonna finish it as a voiceover over this image, so bear with me. I think what I'm trying to say is there are some days where just continuing to exist and live is an extremely underrated achievement. And I'm sure everybody has days like that, that there are so many days as a chronically ill person where your body stops you from doing anything else. And it's so frustrating to essentially be a prisoner in your own body and to be trapped in bed knowing there are all these things you want to do, you want to achieve, but today you just have to sit in bed and wait for your body to cooperate. And that's very, very frustrating especially when most of society views you as lazy or a drain on the system, when what they don't understand is we want more than anything to be out there being what is considered a productive member of society. We want more than anything to not be trapped by our pain and by our symptoms and by this illness, but in many ways we are. So if you know somebody who has a chronic illness and may be in a time of their life where their wheels are turning, but they're not going anywhere because they are a prisoner in their own body. Just remind them how strong they are, because it's something we all need to hear from time to time. It's really easy for me to look back over the past year and say that I have accomplished nothing. I have dropped out of school and that is about it. But I have survived some extremely trying times. I have kept my heart beating when it sometimes has not wanted to. And that is something I need to remember as incredible. So to all my fellow Spoonies out there, I want you to know you're incredibly brave and you're incredibly strong. And just keep going. Until next time, hoard those spoons, guys.